How you doing, people? I know it's been a while. It's been about a little over three months. Um, well, about almost three months ago. I, I just let you guys know a little bit what's going on. About three months ago, maybe just a little over three months ago, I hyperextended my knee when it was we had a little storm over here. I slipped in the backyard. Wasn't wearing my brace. Remember, I was off my braces and stuff. Well, I'm back on my knee brace again, just for safety reasons, just to make sure I don't hyperextend again because I have been going to physical therapy again. I was off during that time when it happened. I was my off time, so I kind of had to re rehabilitate my, my own leg itself and then go in the doctor and everything else. But I'm getting there, so I put my brace on just for a safety measure because I do not want to hyperextend it again because that pain was so, it was so bad. Not as bad as the pain that it, also, people, I did lose Pee Wee on the 18th of last month. On April, yeah, April 18th, she passed away. She's in a better place now. But we're going to move on from that because I don't want to get all sentimental. But I miss her. She was a good part of my rehab. So today, what we're going to do, we're going to do a lot of good stretching, okay, people? Sorry about the noises, okay? So what we're going to do right now, we're going to do some deep breathing. When you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, that's going to release the natural niche oxide. You can get pills and stuff, which helps open up your blood vessels and, and also stuff like that. And also, when you're doing deep squats as well, that's going to help release those the natural niche oxides. And you, you can do your own research. You guys can Google it or whatever you want to do and find out because that's what I ended up doing because somebody messaged me about taking nitric oxide and I did it and I started going down the rabbit hole of that. And so I did and I started taking, I, I've been taking it for a while. I've been taking it before all that. But I also found out there's ways to naturally release it. So what you want to do, breathe in through your nose. When you do that, you want to bring your hands in towards you. In through your nose. through your mouth you want to do this for up to two minutes like in and out as quick as you well not as quick as you can but you know in a good moderation I'm a little bit stiff this morning I did work out pretty good yesterday I started getting back into physical therapy they finally um, I transferred I'm not going to that place I used to go to I'm going to a different place now I felt like I was getting a little dormant out there. Plus, it was a lot, about an hour drive each way. It just wasn't even worth the effort anymore. I really believe that you do need, if you've been going to the same therapist, this is my theory. This is just me. <clears throat> I just believe that you start getting dormant or you start getting used to the same, or you get comfortable. And I believe that when you go to different therapists in different locations, they're going to have different ways of teaching you because, you know, different people. And I believe that this this one, they're bringing me to my next level where I need to be now. And I'm also in occupational therapy, which is helping me with my hand. I don't know if you remember my hand, it used to be really, really bad. It still is right now because I haven't warmed up yet. So right now what we're gonna do, and I do wanna still be careful because of my, my knee. And this has really been helping me out a lot. The cane thing, what I showed you guys the last video, I think I did before I, I, I quit. I appreciate you, every one of you guys. It's been a journey, people. And every time you take a fall, don't don't get in a spot where you just feel like, man, you feel defeated because you're not defeated. You get you fall down, you get back up, and you want to come back stronger each time you do, people. Yes, sometimes it does feel like that. And yes, I did lose Pee Wee, and I felt defeated about that too. But you still got to get your butt up. Forget all that. You gotta get your ass up and start doing the work, people. I'm sorry if I'm gonna cuss a little bit. I'm just tired of being, we're all grown ups. I'm pretty positive we're all grown ups. If we're not, I'm, I apologize for cussing. I'm not gonna try to say the F word like you mother truckers or anything like that. You know what I'm saying. I wouldn't do that. But I might say shit, I might say ass. We all gotta do both. We all have one of each. Or we gotta do one of each, I should say. But anyways, you guys get the point. So you wanna hold the king? Hold the bottom end down here and you know, affect the hand where it's at. Make sure you got a good grip. Make sure all your fingers are in the right direction. Make sure your thumb's over it like you're getting a good regular fist. Because I know when you fist, sometimes your thumb wants to go inside your hand. 
you want your, your thumb outside the hand. You want to have better control with your movements. So you want to get it, push it out, push it out, hold it there for a second, bring it in, control the movement, watch your fingers, make sure they're all going around that, around the end really good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. You want to do it in all different directions, people. You want to do these ones up down too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gym. Remember, people, don't ever de feel defeated. And if you guys ever need it, text me. I'm, I'm sorry, I wasn't getting back to a few people. I've been going through a few things as well because when my knee was when my knee was down, it was down. I'm just trying to make up excuses, people. You remember, excuses only sound good to the people saying them. I know I'm saying them right now, but it's not excuses. It really, this is things that really happened in my life. And everything, something's going to happen each and every one of you guys' lives as well. But you got to remember, no matter what, pick up the pieces, get back up. You spill something, clean the mess, get back up. No matter what the situation is, you can always get past it. If you're alive and walking and able to breathe in the morning, you're able to do something different. Remember, if you want things to change, start making changes in your life. Because the only way things are going to change is until you start making changes. I've been making a lot of changes. I've been eating a lot of better foods and stuff, so I, I could create a lot of little less information. Well, I want to give you guys a little bit more information about inflammation. Inflammation is also, I've been doing a lot of reading. I've been doing a lot more studying and more about what's going on, what's going to benefit me. And I've been eating a little bit better. I've been taking the right vitamins and stuff. I've been doing a lot better. So you guys need to do your research and all the medication they guys give you probably for your high blood pressure and all that stuff. Do your research on it. See what's good and bad about it. I don't want to tell you guys this or that, but I started doing some research on some of it. Some of the side effects, and you, I'm sure you guys see the commercials on on the commercials and stuff about the good and the bad about it and it, it's, it's true some of the stuff is true so do your research but back to the inflammation certain inflammation in foods that give you a lot of inflammation is going to slow your your progress down on your on your recovery people it's because that's going to affect the way you get your range of motion and like i said this is helping my range of motion okay people and you want to go backwards with it and you want to do like you know two sets of 10 of each direction you know what i mean 10 up, 10 that way, 10 this way. And it's gonna it's gonna help people. But back to the inflammation thing. Yes, you wanna really be careful with what you eat. Stop eating so much bread and stuff like that because that's gonna cause a lot of inflammation. Do your own research, people, but see what causes inflammation and try it out for a couple of weeks and see what happens. I've been doing it and I noticed my it's been helping me. But remember what can help me can help you, maybe it can't help you. Remember, my information is just information that I do on my own research. I do, I Google stuff and I try to watch your guys' videos as well. And, you know, you got you to gotta do your own research, people. Don't just believe everything the doctor tells you. The doctor's just there to tell you stuff. Just like when you go to a physical therapist, all they are is teachers. It's all up to you when you go home to do the homework they tell you to do. Like all the stuff they teach you, do it at home. Because you know what? It's all about you putting in all the more work you put into yourself is the better you're gonna have results. So because of all these exercises and all the stretch I've been doing. One, two, actually let's do it with the weighted bar, okay people? I've been getting better. And I got a few other exercises I'm gonna do with the weighted bar as well. You wanna to try to reinvent yourself with your exercising. You want to start doing different things like you used to do. You used to be able to grab stuff from behind and pull it up towards you. Start doing those things. Don't neglect them anymore. Because I'm positive all you guys have been neglecting because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a major villain of that. And I was neglecting a lot of things, but I've been trying to implement it now. And I know they say the first two years is your best time for progress. Yes, that's true. But don't believe that you can't make progress. I've been making better progress than I have in the last six months to a year than I did in the first three years. Why? Because I'm more motivated. 
why I have motivation to do things. I have reasons to do what I got to do. Find your why, and you're going to do what you need to do, people. And I appreciate all you guys commenting me and saying what you guys have been saying. I wanted to get back to you guys, but the weather's been shitty here. It's been really good or it's been really bad. But anyway, so you want to go shoulder width apart, people? Hold it. This is the way to borrow, okay? This is like, I think, three or four pounds, four or five pounds. Anyway, bring it out. And it's basically like you're rolling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Remember, people, the only way you're going to not make any progress is by not putting in the work. The more work you're going to put into yourself, is the more progress you're going to see, okay? So remember, things are going to hit you sometimes. It's going to hit you left and right. Life's going to throw curves balls at you. But you know what? you got to get your, just pick your ass up and start doing the work again. Again, I do apologize if I say I'm tired of sugarcoating it. When I'm not around on the microphone or making a video, I say shit and I say ass. It's life, you know what I mean? We all have an ass and we all do the number two. Anyways, I'm not going to be all gross about that stuff. It's not my point. My point is just whatever you think you need to do, do the research on it. Whatever your pain is, do the research on it. Don't take medication for everything just to get rid of the pain because that's not going to, all you're doing is putting a band-aid on it. Start doing the work to loosen it up. I don't have any more shoulder pain like I used to. I used to have, like, wake up in the morning, like, my shoulder used to ache like no other. My leg used to ache like no other. I've been changing things up. So shoulder width apart. Up. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it does help to have a mirror to see what you're doing. See, when I'm looking at myself off the camera, I can see what my mistakes are. But it's hard to see right now because I'm getting reflective light. So remember, people, don't ever give up on yourselves and always know that you could do it. You wake up every morning, appreciate life. Appreciate God, and God's going to show you that there is a better way of doing things. And believe in yourself is the most positive thing I could tell you guys right now. Once you start believing in yourself, you could do it. You're going to get up every day with some kind of motivation, and you're going to, you're going to, you got to, you got to have a why. You got to have something that's going to inspire you. You want to do things like the way you used to do? Start doing those things like you used to do. Take little steps towards those actions. Make it start. Make sure you start doing things differently. Think they're going to change until you start making changes in yourself. Believe in your brain that picture the picture the outcome what you want. Once you start picturing it, you're going to start wanting to thrive towards it. Think they can just fall on your lap. If they do, then more power to you. But when you when you earn earn the progress you're making, you will appreciate it so much better. And then when you're better, you're going to be able to say, "I put all that work in. Look where I was at and where I came from." Remember, I used to be in a wheelchair. I used to be in two braces. I'm in one race right now just to be sure I don't want to extend my knee again because it effing hurt it. But I just want to get on here and tell you guys that I've been saying I was going to get back on it, but either it's too windy or it's too rainy or a bunch of noises and stuff, which have got noises a second ago. But it doesn't matter, people. Figure out the time. Figure out there's always the time. You got time. You breathe in. Start doing the exercise, okay, people? Stay motivated. Stay positive. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys always wondering where I'm at. I'm sorry I didn't do a video. I'm going to get back in it. I did lose my motivation about the whole thing because when I messed up my knee, it did bring me down a little bit. When I lost Pee Wee, yes, that took a big toll out of me. Because you know what? They're around you more than anything. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm not going to try to get into that. Change it up, people. I got to stay pumping up and happy because... It's the way to be, people. Be appreciative of life. 
appreciate everything, appreciate being able to get up in the morning, be, be able to eat food, make food, eat, do things that you couldn't do before. Think about the time when you had your stroke, you were in the hospital. Think about that, where are you at now? Do you want to keep going? Well, keep making progress, keep doing different things, and you will see differences. Yes, it's a slow thing. The progress is slow. You can put hours and hours and hours and hours of work each day. The, prog the little bit you get is going to count towards something, but you keep putting all those little inches together. Now look at I still shake. Why do I still shake? Because I've been working out before I did this, but I was doing a workout. I wasn't doing the stretching. I should have did stretching first, and it was cold this morning. This weather out here in Merced, it just it sucks. In the morning, it's like still 50 degrees. In the afternoon, it's like 90 degrees, close to 100. Like right now, it's a perfect time, except for the noises. So I just want to tell you guys thank you. appreciate you guys. I'm going to do a better video. I'll try to do a video each week, okay? If you guys want me to, please leave a comment down below. And I appreciate you guys. If you guys have any other ideas what you guys have been doing, let me know what you guys have been up to. I do read the comments. Sometimes I get back to each and every one of you. But sometimes I don't because I just... Sometimes I don't have my glasses on me. But no matter what, people, the only, remember, like I said, the only excuses only sound good to a person saying them. So remember that, people. And if you don't want to get better, I don't know what to say. But I know you guys do because you guys watch my videos, you watch other people's videos. So make the work count. Do the work they tell you to do at physical therapy. Remember, they're only teachers. And what it's up to you to do the homework at home. And you got to do it more than, it's, it's more than a religion. You got to do it like your life depends on it because it will depend on it later on. Because the more work you put into it now, life is going to be easier then. Because if you do it while you're getting older, it's going to be harder. So just do the work now. It's going to, you'll appreciate it. All right, people? You guys take care. If you guys can, like, subscribe. And I promise I'll start making more videos. I'll try to keep a video up once a week. I I'm I'm, think, I'm, think I'm on track again. I'm pretty sure I'm on track. But... Thanks for the comments, and I appreciate you guys. Take care.